In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can make a full width menu with this super cool animation in your WordPress website by using Elementor. And here, when we hover over on this menu items, you can see this cool image hover effect. And you can also link these items with a specific section of that page or any other different pages. So without further ado, let's see how can we make that. So before starting, I want to say that to create our this advanced full width menu, we have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Now here, as we want to create this as our header, so first of all, I want to go to this theme builder option from here. And let's click on this plus icon beside this header. Let's close this. And here I want to start everything from scratch. But if you don't want to do anything, and only want to apply this full width menu on your website, you can also get this as a ready-made template from my Gumroot shop. And here with this full width menu, I will also give you two different kinds of header, the default one and also the transparent header. So you can apply this menu with any of this kind of header. So here after downloading this template, you will get a zip file like this. And if you just go to your this header template and go to this template upload option, and from here, if you just drag this file to here, you will get these two templates, full width menu header and full width menu transparent header. So let's just insert this default one and click on publish and click on this add connection and keep it on your inter website. Click on save and close. And now if you go to any of our pages, we can see our menu is working perfectly. And we can also see this smooth hover effect. And if we click on any of these menu items, this will also go to this corresponding section. So if you go to edit these menu items, here we can also see we have add an ID for each of all these items. So you need to put this ID inside your pages. So for example, in this page, I have give this sections ID to about. So for this, here with this about item, I have also put that ID with this hash symbol. And not only this menu, we can change each and everything from our navigator view. So here we can see this close icon, this nav menu, this social menu, and this hover images. So we can also change this hover images also from here. And then if we see it from our this tablet or this mobile devices, it's also responsive from all of them. And then if you also want to use this transparent header, you can also get a header like this where everything is also perfectly working. Okay, but if you don't want to use this template, you can also start everything from scratch. So let's delete all of our this content. And here, first of all, I want to create a new section with this two column layout. And inside this first column, I want to add our logo. So let's drag an image widget and upload this logo from here. It looks so big, I want to reduce its width to 80 pixel and to place it on this left side, also make its width to inline. Then on this right column, I want to add an icon to trigger our menu. But for this, I don't want to use this icon widget. Instead, I will use some divider widget to create our this nav bar. So first of all, I want to take an inner section inside this and delete our this unnecessary column. And inside this, I want to drag this divider widget and let's give its width to pixel. Also remove this gap. And then I want to reduce the width of this whole inner section. So go to this inner section settings and from this custom CSS, we need to paste this code. And now you can see it on here. So here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all of this code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that code. Okay, so right now I also want to make some adjustment with this inner section. So I want to remove this padding from here. So go to this layout settings and make this to no gap. And then to place it on this right side, I also want to go to this parent column settings and make this horizontal alignment to the end. Now like this divider, I also want to create another two divider under here. So for this, let's go to this divider widget settings. Let's see it from our this navigator and let's duplicate this. Okay, now we just need to reduce the gap between them. 
So again, go to its column settings and make this widget spacing to 80 pixel. Now that looks perfect. Then for this section, I also want to give it a fixed height. So make it to minimum height and give it to 70 pixel. So we have done all of the things with our header. Now I want to create a, another new section for our full width menu. So let's click on here. And first of all, I want to make this to full height. So make the minimum height to 100 VH. And also give it a background color from this style option. I want to give it a gradient background. So let's give the first color to this dark color. And this second color, I want to make it to fully black. Then inside this, I want to create our this menu. So for this, I want to search for this icon list widget and let's drag this to here. Okay, now here I don't want these icons. I only want to show this text. So go to here and delete these icons and let's change this text. And here you can put the link of any of your pages. But here when I click on this, I want to scroll to that home section of this page. So here with this section, you can see I have given the ID of this section to home. Let's just copy this ID from here. And here, let's put an hash symbol and paste that ID. And like this one, I want to create another one. So let's just duplicate this. And here, let's write down about and also change this ID. And let's quickly create all of this. Okay, so after adding all of this, here I don't want to make this a full width link. So make it to this inline. And now we can see this link is only applied for our these text parts. Okay, then go to this style option and I want to give it a white color. And also from the typography, let's change its font to this font. Increase this font size and also make the font weight to 600. And after this main menu, I also want to add another social menu under here. So let's drag an another icon list widget to here. And like before, let's quickly change this text. But here, instead of place this vertically, I want to place this in one line. So make this layout to inline. And also, I want to change its color to white. And also change this font. From the top, let's give some spacing. So make the margin top to 40 pixel. And I also want some spacing between them. So make it to 30 pixel. And let's also align this at the middle. So make this to center. And like this menu, I also want to align this one to this middle position. So for this, first of all, I want to give it a custom width from this width option, 330 pixel. And to place it on the middle, let's go to this parent column settings and make its horizontal alignment to the center. Perfect. So after these two menu, here at the corner, I also want to add a close icon. So for this, from here, I just want to duplicate this inner section and drag this at the top of this menu. Okay, but we cannot see it properly. So from this navigator view, here we need to delete our this third divider. We only need these two dividers. So for this first one, I want to change its color to the white color and also for the second one. And again, go to this first divider and I want to make its angle to 45 degree. And for the second one, I also want to make it to negative minus 45 degree. But with that, I also want to make its position to the absolute. Okay, now you can see it makes a perfect close icon. Now I want to place it on this top right corner here. So for this, let's again go to this inner sections custom CSS. And instead of this previous code, I want to paste this new code. And now this is placed on this top right corner. But we cannot see that. So to see it, we need to add some classes with some of our elements. So first of all, I want to go to this section and here we need to add a class f dash menu dash section then with our this inner section let's add another class f dash open and from the navigator we can see this close icons inner section so with this one we need to add f dash close then with these two menus we also need to add two different classes so for this main menu let's add f dash menu 
and for the social menu let's add here if dash social and after adding all of these classes here i also want to add an javascript code so let's drag this html widget right after this menu and let's paste this code and after this javascript code it's time to add some more custom css code inside our page so first of all i want to go with this section and paste this code and now if you click on this hamburger icon we can see this cool animation effect with our this with menu but i think we need to increase its z index so for this section i want to make it to 100 so you also need to make sure to give it a higher z index because inside your page there may be other elements that may overlap with your this full width menu so now our animation looks really very good but here when the menu arrives i also want to make some inference animation with our this menu items so for this here with this menus we also need to add some more code and also with this one i know it's a lot of custom codes but when you want to make a really advanced things this custom codes really worth it okay so now if we close our this menu and again reopen it we can see this beautiful entrance animation and when you hover over on these menu items you can also see this cool hover effect now here with this hover effect i also want to add some images with each of these menu items so for this let's also add a new gallery widget and drag this after this menu and as here is five menu items so for these five menu items i will add five images so our first images will be for our this home item the second one will be for the about third one will be for the service and so on so let's go to this gallery field and from here let's choose some images from this gallery preview you can also rearrange your images just by dragging and after sorting all of this let's click on this insert gallery and obviously we need to write some custom code for that and also add a class menu dash image and let's also paste some code okay but here it doesn't work so we need to just save this and refresh this page okay now you can see it's kind of working but we need to fix that so let's go from this navigator to this gallery widget and here first of all i want to give it a custom width give it to the same width for our this menu so make it to 330 pixel and also make its position to the absolute from the left also make it to 50 percent and from this transform option i also want to make negative minus 50 percent of offset okay now it should work but we cannot still see that so sometimes when it doesn't work you just need to save your page and refresh it again and then you can see it's perfectly working okay so after that with these images i also want to add some overlay so go to this style option and from this overlay i want to make a gradient overlay so let's make this first color to black and kind of transparent black and make the second color to fully transparent and also change this gradient angle 120 pixel okay and lastly i also want to adjust the aspect ratio of this image to one by one square size make this image quality a little bit higher and also i don't want to make this a link so make it to none okay now you can see it's perfectly working but here for this image i want to place it under this text so for this menu i want to increase its z index perfect now everything looks really very perfect but before going to our this tablet device i want to do some more things with our this section so i want to make its overflow to hidden because as we make its position to fixed so for some devices it may create a horizontal scroll bar but when you make its overflow hidden that wouldn't be a problem and here with our this column i also want to add some top and bottom padding because if you see it from a less height devices in that case you cannot see any spaces at the top and bottom so from this advanced tab let's give 50 pixel of padding now everything is okay so let's see it from our tablet and first of all i want to check our this main header here everything is okay 
but from the left and right I need some spacing so give it some padding 10 pixel and for our this menu first of all I want to reduce the font size for this text so go to this style and make it to 45 pixel and I want to place this on this left side so make its width to full width and also want to place this social menu on this left side so go to here and make this to left then to adjust those images with this menu items we also need to go to this gallery settings and here we need to make its width to full width from the left make it to zero and also change this transform value go to this offset option and make it to 50 pixel okay now if we save this and see it from our tablet preview you can see it looks 100 percent perfect now finally let's go to this mobile device and here let's first take a look at this main header and here i want to make those columns to 50 percent to keep it in one line so make it to 50 and also for this one let's go to this full width menu and here i want to reduce the font size of this menu furthermore so make it to 40 pixel and also reduce the font size for this menu make it to 13 pixel and also reduce the cap from this above make it to 20 and lastly to adjust those images correctly again go to this gallery widget and make this offset to minus 10 pixel let's save this and finally if we check it from this width we can see it's perfectly working from all of our devices so that's how we can create this amazing full width menu in your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video